So one of the new features inside Adobe After Effects 2024 is the new and improved Rotobrush 3.0 tool. You can expect to see a lot of improvements such as the enhanced precision during selection and tracking of objects. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how to use Rotobrush 3.0. Let's dive in. So there's a lot of reasons why you might wanna use Rotobrush. In this example specifically, I have a clip of a jogger jogging and I want to insert some text in between her and the background. So we're going to use the Rotobrush tool to cut out the jogger. To get started, what I'm going to do is select the clip and duplicate it in my timeline. This way, we have the top clip that will be the cutout of the jogger and the background layer, which is the underneath clip, and our text layer is going to live in between these two clips. So next, click on the clip and then hover over to the Rotobrush tool. It looks like this. When you click on it, double click in your composition panel and this will open up the layer window. Next, what you can do is click and draw inside the layer panel around your subject using the brush tool. Once you let go, you'll notice that a magenta line will mask your subject. Essentially, everything inside that magenta line will be visible and anything outside of that line will not be visible. Now, it's not gonna be perfect all the time. So for example, the top of her head here didn't get selected. So I'm gonna brush that back in by just clicking and drawing that area. And sometimes you'll notice that it includes areas that we don't want. For example, her left shoulder here includes some of the sky. So what you can do is hold down Option or Alt on a PC and click and drag to remove certain areas of that mask. Once you have your first frame complete, you can click the space bar or click play in the preview monitor and this will start to render out each frame one at a time inside After Effects. Now as we go along here, I did wanna show one other tool that you can use and that's the Refine Edge tool. So you'll notice that if you long hold on the Rotobrush tool, you have an option called Refine Edge. This is very helpful for hair or tricky types of areas. For example, I'm gonna brush around the edges of her hair to dedicate more precision in that area. That's essentially what this tool will do. Once you let go, you'll notice that a new black and white mask is created, showing what's gonna be left in in white and what's excluded in black. You also have some other viewing options down below. For example, you can toggle these buttons here to show different things. I like checking this red box. That way it shows a solid color and I can clearly see the mask, what's being included and not included. But you can play with these settings to kinda see what works for you. Now one other note here, I go forward a few frames, you'll notice that it include this white sky background. You can do the same with the refine edge, you can alt click to remove a certain area and as you can see it takes it away. So now it's just a matter of going through, clicking play, stopping it once in a while to adjust the mask. And then once you're done, you can click this freeze button at the bottom right hand corner. And this will essentially freeze your mask. You can always unfreeze it later if you need to make some adjustments, but freezing it essentially allows you to move on and composite it in other layers inside After Effects. So here it is, as we click play, you can see our finished roto subject here. Now there are a few other options that you can adjust inside effects controls. You'll notice that you have a feather option, so you can increase or decrease that if you want to add a feather to your mask. You also have Shift Edge, which is a really neat feature. Say if you wanted to choke it a little bit more, like around her head, and her hair, you can slide it to the left to kind of choke the mask a little bit, or you can slide it to the right to add more of a boundary around your subject. One other option I do recommend turning on for fast moving subjects is motion blur. When you check motion blur, it'll add some artificial motion blur to your scene, making the mask look more realistic. This is definitely helpful for a lot of fast moving subjects in your scene. All right, so for the next step, I'm gonna add some text to finish this project off. I'm gonna grab my type tool, click out in the composition panel and type out some text. Then I'm gonna hop over to the character panel, make some adjustments and realign it right behind her. Did a pretty nice job here. If we zoom in around her hair, did a really nice job cutting around and making a mask around her hair. Now, one of the things with the Rotobrush tool that you might notice is that you need a pretty quick computer to run the tool. Now, if you don't have a solid computer that you can use to run this tool in After Effects, you can use some online AI software to help you out. One tool I do recommend is called Runway ML. They have a green screen magic tool that you can use to easily remove backgrounds from your scene. If you wanna see how that tool works, I did make a video going over that. I will link that video right up there. But otherwise, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you wanted to see how to use Rotoscope 3.0 inside Adobe After Effects 2024.